Hey, hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I will have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be presenting the Casio AE1200 WHD. So a few weeks ago I reviewed also the Casio uh, F91W which I'll provide a link in the description box below and today I'll take a look at it and we'll go through some of the specs and we'll talk about uh, you know how is the watch and if whether this presents a good value or not. So this watch is also known as the Casino Royale, uh, although this has nothing to do with, I believe, Casino Royale movie, but it was owned by uh, Rogers Moore in 1983 James Bond movie Octopussy, which actually uh, Roger Moore owned the Seiko uh, G757 watch, but uh, I'm not sure why this is like a known as Casino Royale. So let's uh, look at uh, some of the specs before we open the box. So this is 100 meter uh, water resistant. So you can wear, uh, you know, every day. Uh, you can, you know, shower with it or you can go to swimming and everything. And it has a 10 year uh, battery life, uh, five alarm, uh, which you can choose. And then uh, it's supposed to have only 30 seconds plus or minus per month. Uh, in a time adjustment. But I heard that in general, it wouldn't be more than like 10 seconds per month uh, you know it goes off so it's not a big deal and the case is plastic uh, the bracelet is uh, stainless uh, steel and then it has you know war time uh, which offers uh, 31 time zone 48 cities and with uh, daylight savings time and then it has multi time which I think either four cities or five cities we'll take a look at it and then it's only 91 gram and the glass is made of plastic or resin glass so that's uh, the main specs of this watch so now the box just came like this this is not a fancy boxing and if you look carefully then you'll be able to see the uh, model number right here which is uh, AE1200 WHD1 AVCF so we're going to start opening this box right here. So that's all there is. The box is empty. And then we have a Casio standard warranty, which I have it right here. And then just like other cheap Casio watches, this one is, uh, you know, is on top of the plastic uh, frame. And you can see that you know there's uh, some like you know manual or brochure stack inside which looks really a lot of information right here so i'll just take them out so this is really a fat you know manual uh i'm not going to go through it so i'll just put it aside here and then let's remove the watch from the case so there's a plastic uh, protection on top which I'll remove slowly and here we have the watch. So there's some more protection, let's get rid of all of them. So the first impression, uh, the watch really looks nice, you know, you cannot even tell that this is a cheap watch and the only thing I don't like is the world time written right here. Let me just bring this a little closer and then the illuminator right here. So possible you can remove it using you know this remover but uh, I think I'm gonna just leave it as is and the bracelet or band it's okay but it's not heavy stainless steel you know I can feel that this is very like you know light and thin but it should be good enough but it's not like you know heavy like my ex expensive watch which I am wearing right now a citizen and it's like you know feel very durable and thick and heavy but this one is like you know it, you can feel it that this is a very light and it's not like you know that type of durable and let's just open this up here so 
so here this cover I believe is stainless steel although the rest of the frame is not you know stainless steel it's just plain plastic but it looks like a stainless steel and this is resin glass or plastic glass but this is where you get the stainless steel this part and this is water resistant 100 meter so that's good enough and actually you can even see the 10 year battery life which is right here I'm going to go through some of the very quick settings uh, these are uh, just basic settings you need to know to make the watch you know work uh, if you'd like to know detailed settings then definitely you can consult the uh, manual which is provided with the watch or you can just you know download the manual uh, on the website so the first thing uh, when you open the watch or take the watch uh, from the box adjust button which is on the very top left so if you press and hold it then you will see that you know the time started to blink and then just you know press the mode button to go through each of them right now that you know this is just 1 p.m. and if you want to like you know change that then you have to press the uh, search button and then let's say if we go through all these and then right now you can see that uh, this is showing uh, 12 hour and 24 hour format so you can just change it by pressing uh, this uh, so this is 24 hour now but I'll change back to 12 hour so basically you're just like you know keep hitting this one and then when it start blinking if you want to change that then you have to keep pressing this one so another thing uh, I can show you uh, that uh, right now this is 2020 so this is just you know year 2020 uh, if you want to change that then you have to again press this and then it's going to uh, you know show the year you want and then once you have that year you can just like you know pressing uh, this one again to change it to something else for for example right now you can see that number six is blinking uh, so what it means that uh, this is june so let's say if you want to change through the months then you have to just you know keep pressing this one and then it will you know uh, take it to your desired month and then you can keep hitting the uh, mode button again now you can see that there is a like you know number one so what it means that this is the light button in this uh, for the city uh, so if you want to change it to uh, three that means that you know the light is going to be for three seconds on and then if you change it back to one then it's like you know one or one and a half second I wouldn't change it back to three seconds because you know uh, it would take a lot more battery but because this is a 10 year battery watch uh, that shouldn't be a big deal but still I'll just keep it at one so then you press the this button again then it becomes fixed at your uh, time now if you want to go through the other you know uh, world time button or world time setting which they are like you know for setting uh, you can see that right now this is t2 so if you keep pressing it t3 london and t4 uh, looks like paris or yeah uh, could be something else but most likely paris so this just like you know shows four world times accessible via pressing this button and then let's say if you want to like you know uh, change other settings for example if you want to go through all the world time setting then what you do you hit this uh, mode button and then you can just like you know go through all this by pressing the search button and then again if you want to set up t alarm then you come to alarm by hitting uh, by pressing the mode button then you just use this button to set uh, other uh, settings for example a timer or a stopwatch or the world time again now if you take a look at it here uh, for example right here you will see that it says mute so what it means that right now each time I'm pressing any one of these buttons it's not going to make any beeping noise which is very annoying so you can adjust this by just like you know keep pressing this for like three seconds 
so you can hear a tiny beep and you can see that you know that button or the sign is gone so what it means that each time now you're pressing something you're going to hear the sound but let's say I don't want that then what I can do I can just like you know uh, I can just uh, go to the regular mode so let's say I can just come here and then keep press uh, pressing this like three seconds and you see that the mute came back and that way uh, it's not gonna you know uh, mute anymore if you want to change your home time which is going to be t1 so all you have to do you just keep pressing this button to show world times mode which is going to be let's say uh, it would show wt and then you just like you know keep going through all the cities and then once you hit your desired city then once you have that then you have to just press this button hold it for one second or a couple of seconds or just like you know press and hold it hold it simultaneously and that will change your t1 time or your home city and which is going to be shown here so right now if you just like you know uh, press this here then you can see that uh, my home city is set to uh, new york So you can see that you know the T1 let's come back again is New York so that's my home city and that's what you're going to see this analog watch uh, right here so these are the basic settings uh, of this watch so another thing when you choose alarm then if you hit the adjust button then you can see that you know it says alarm off alarm on and then on and then actually one option is one alarm so what it means that you know it's just going to alarm one time if you choose the one option and then if you choose just the alarm on then it's going to alarm every day or every time this watch is also called the world's most value watch because the functionality you're getting just for about uh, I would say 30 40 dollars is really unmatched by any other watch and as you can see that this is not really a bad looking watch at all it looks very nice and you cannot even tell that you know it's a, uh, a cheap watch so overall I'm happy with the purchase and this is not an affiliated or paid review I purchased this with my own money and I do have you know other watch reviews which you can see in the description box uh, below So this watch you can use actually when you uh, go traveling and if you're changing your time zone uh, within the country or internationally you are going from one place to another place then you don't have to you know worry about changing time or uh, asking someone time or to match time with something else or some other uh, like you know watches so you can have all the time in the world in one watch so definitely this presents value and uh, you know uh, this uh, is one of the best value watch watches you can possibly buy so thank you for watching this video forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video uh, there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you